Most of the information I'm relaying in this video is based on an article from the April 1984 issue of Fight Beat magazine written by Lawrence Cowley, a deputy sheriff for the Sacramento County Sheriff's Department. Now, Babs McCarthy was a fringe welterweight contender of the early 1980s who died under mysterious circumstances. His body was found in the shallow waters of Sacramento's American River. He was 35 years old and only two years away from being the USBA welterweight champion. And at certain points in his career, he was uh, slated to face uh, Maurice Hope for Hope's uh, WBA junior, uh, WBC junior middleweight title, uh, Pepeno Cuevas for his welterweight title, and he even had a big money fight with Roberto Duran lined up. All these fights were on the bargaining table for him, but because of uh, untimely losses and his own bad beh erratic behavior, uh, McCarthy never received these shots at, at the big time. Uh, growing up, McCarthy had a hard scrabble life. Uh, he, would, he would never know his real parents, and he was raised in foster homes, uh, get into trouble, and uh, ultimately be, be raised in ranch-style uh, boys' reformatories. And by the age of 18, uh, he would be arrested and convicted for armed robbery, and he would remain in prison for eight years. Uh, but it would be there that he would learn how to box. Now, upon his release, he would move to the San Francisco Bay Area, and he would begin a pro boxing career. He would lose more than he'd win in the early going of his career. Uh, he would lose to the likes of a welterweight contenders like Adolfo Verouet and Pete Ranzani. But he would hold his own against Ranzani two times, and eventually Ranzani's own manager became impressed enough with him to sign him on to his own stable. But McCarthy didn't seem to extend any gratitude toward uh, Ranzani's manager, who was, uh, his name was uh, Joey Lopes. Uh, he was a bitter guy, a moody guy, and uh, he complained that Lop Lopes only seemed to care about Ranzani. So uh, McCarthy would leave Lopes' stable and negotiate with promoter Don King for a bout against Roberto Duran. King would require a tune-up for Duran and put McCarthy in against uh, Jeff Morgan. He was beating... Morgan on points before he inexplicably shoved uh, the referee Rudy Ortega, which caused an immediate disqualification. Uh, this bizarre behavior killed the Duran fight, and McCarthy would then sue Don King for two and a half million dollars, and that case went nowhere, and he would eventually suffer uh, knockout losses to up-and-comers like uh, Bobby Joe Young and Marlon Starling, which would end his career. By 1983, he would be making a living doing odd jobs like uh, upholstering and running errands for a law firm in Sacramento. By the, but by the summer of 1983, his life had took another uh, bizarre turn. It would be the night of June 14, 1983 at 9 p.m. when Sacramento police would respond to a call about a black male adult who was allegedly causing a disturbance at a record store. And when the police arrived at the store, they were confronted with a compact muscular black man who glared at them with a blank, fixed look in his eyes. The police reported that the man was making jerking, karate-type motions with his hands. They also said that they detected a sweet smell about his body. The man continued to lock eyes with the police as he started to walk out of the store and continued to make exaggerated karate moves in slow motion. He told the police that his name was King Tut. They arrested him on a charge of disorderly conduct. The officer suspected that the man may have been under the influence of an illegal drug. The prisoner was taken by the police to a Sacramento jail where he was identified as professional boxer Babs McCarthy. On June 15, 1983, at 1.11 a.m., McCarthy was released from custody. The jail guards who released Babs are the last persons who are known to have seen him alive. Nothing is known about McCarthy's movements after he left the jail. The last date marked off on the calendar found in his apartment was June 14th, indicating that he never returned home again. On June 30th, an object was sighted floating in the American River near Discovery Park in Sacramento. Coroner's divers were called out. They pulled the bloated, decomposing body of a black adult male out of the river. The condition of the body was such that experts believed that it could have been in the river for as long as two weeks. At the city morgue, through the use of fingerprints, the corpse was identified as boxer Babs McCarthy. The dead man was found wearing a sweatshirt 
with a hood, sweatpants, and tennis shoes. The drawstrings of the hood were tied tightly around the neck. The body was so decomposed that the coroner was unable to administer blood tests or any other tests that could have determined if the dead man had used drugs or alcohol. The body was not bruised. No bones were broken. According to a Sacramento police official, the cause of death was listed as drowning. But Herman Carter, McCarthy's former trainer and the trainer of Pete Ranzani, thinks that Babs was murdered. He described Babs as being like a pit bull in the ring. He was a loner and moody, the kind of guy you didn't want to mess with. He doesn't believe his death was an accident because he knows firsthand that McCarthy was an excellent swimmer. He believes McCarthy was the victim of foul play. McCarthy's body remained in the Sacramento morgue for one month before it was claimed by a relative. Less than a dozen people attended his funeral in Oakland, California. So I do have one fight of Babs McCarthy. Um, this is his fight against, this is his next to last fight against uh, Bobby Joe Young. And uh, it takes place in uh, December 10th of 1981 at the Sands Casino in Atlantic City. Hope you enjoy. Sacramento, California boxing fans, please welcome Babs McCarthy. McCarthy. And his opponent in the blue corner, wearing the red trunks with the white trim, he is tipping the scales at 144 and one half pounds from Steubenville, Ohio. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Bobby Joe Young. Young. Scheduled for 10. The experts say it should go the distance. Bobby Joe Young, just 22, an up and coming uh, boxer from Steubenville, Ohio. Babs McCarthy, 27. They say he's got an iron chin. Here we go, round one. I'd like to remind the boxing fans that, of course, this is a round system, and there's a supplementary uh, point system used in the state of Jersey. However, the rounds are total first. The number of rounds won uh, will give us the winner. Bobby Joe Young in the red trunks with the white trim. Babs McCarthy out of Sacramento, California in the white trunks with the red trim. McCarthy 5'7 and a half, 147. Young is 5'8, 144. McCarthy has a real brisk jab. I like the way he holds his arms up. He defends himself very well. Got good footwork. Steps back, retreats, and advances fast. He's got a cat-like jab. Snaps right up there. McCarthy has never been knocked out. He's very clean looking too. He doesn't have a scar, any scar tissue on him at all. He's a very handsome boy. That's a bothersome jab, as you can see. One minute into the first round. McCarthy is 17, 13, and 1 with eight knockouts. Young is 12 and 1 with 11 knockouts in his last 11 fights. This is his fifth fight in Atlantic City where he is unbeaten. That looked a little low, but it was right in the midsection. All of this leading up to the main event, the WBA Bantamweight Championship. Under a minute 30 remaining in the first round. McCarthy has a, a follow-up jab, and he's a very good defensive fighter. Good counter puncher. He calls himself Arthur, the unofficial welterweight champion, and says he is defending his title tonight. He was the welterweight champ. For some reason, the title was taken away. Some felt he wasn't defending it often enough. So with the crown vacant, Kevin Morgan took on Tyrone Rackley, and Morgan won. A minute left in round one here at the Sands Hotel in Atlantic City. I can understand why he looks as good as he looks. He's fought some pretty brilliant opponents here in Pete Granzani and Randy Seals. Harry Barnes, Rocky Mosey also. Yeah, good name, boxer. He has fought some tough customers. Under 30 seconds, remaining round one. Bobby Joe Young, red trunks. McCarthy White. McCarthy appears to be a little older than he is. He's 27 years old, I guess. And uh, our Bobby Joe Young is 22 years old. Hey, 
triangles in and out. Joe Frazier says to be a boxer, you got to be mean and lean, and you can't take no stuff. Round two here at Atlantic City. Bobby Joe Young and Babs McCarthy. Bobby Joe in the red. McCarthy on the attack. Bobby Joe Young was just a little taller. He would resemble Sugar Ray Robinson. He's got that kind of a perfect body. Five foot eight. Ranked number 20 in Ring Magazine. Big puncher. Oh, Sugar Ray was 5'11", I believe. Three inch difference. Last fight, November the 6th, he knocked out Mike Blunt in two rounds on the Larry Holmes Ronaldo Snipes Championship card in Pittsburgh. And many felt that Young was the most impressive fighter of the night. Young has just a little bit of blood right now showing from his nose. He apparently caught one of the jabs, but he blocks very well. McCarthy in the white currently rated number 13 among junior middleweights by the WBC and number 11 among welterweights by Ring Magazine. Attending San Francisco City College where O.J. Simpson won his freshman year before transferring. West Coast product. Bobby Joe has a perfect stance. He's got just the right balance and he puts a little beautiful right hand. Three, four, five, a punch from Bobby Joe Young, Arthur coming out of nowhere, Larry Hazard. I tell you, it's a long time since I've seen such a beautifully executed right cross. That was very, very quick. Round two, and McCarthy went down. And keep in mind, he has never been knocked out. They say he's got an iron chin. So well, he's on coming. the run now. that combination going now. It shouldn't take too long. There it goes again. They are really wailing away right in front of us. Under 30 seconds to go as the pace quickens. Well, McCarthy's on the run now, and he's wide speed on the run. I'll tell you that. these eyes looking a little glazed with just about 10 seconds remaining in round two. The blood falling from the left nostril of McCarthy. And Young has that combination. He's got a good left hook and a good right up uppercut. And McCarthy doesn't really know where he is. He's going to the wrong corner. He's going to the neutral corner. You'll notice that. He doesn't look too clear. The knockdown, Arthur coming at 121, remaining in round two by Young. All right, you can see now that Young is in balance, and he's cocking that right hand. He's just waiting for the opportunity. The left hand went out. There it goes. Just beautifully executed. Well, he certainly feels he can be the first man to KO McCarthy. He was number two behind Thomas Hearns as an amateur. Bobby Joe Young, 22 years of age, Steubenville, Ohio. The doctor just took, the, uh, took, uh, took a good look at McCarthy, and apparently he looks okay. The chief physician here, Dr. Frank B. Doggett. All the way, all the way. Round three. The man you heard in the corner there was Harold Weston's father. Harold Weston was a formerly good fighter. He's a matchmaker for guards now, but he was instructing Young. Young managed by Carmen Castellano. McCarthy looked extremely dazed at the end of round two. He recovered very well now. He looks okay. But he knows he's in for a fight. That was a, another great uppercut, right uppercut. Bobby Joe Young establishing early authority. Round three of a scheduled ten of this preliminary bout. Leading up to the main event, the WBA Bantamweight Championship with Jolton Jeff Chandler defending his title against the number one contender for the crown oriental champ, Adriano Barada. Two minutes remaining in round three. Bobby does everything well. And 
McCarthy missing with the left hook. He's well schooled and well trained. And I might add an excellent shape. Not even breathing. With that right hand comes across fast again. Lacked a little power, but sizing him up with it. Excellent shape. Well, he's an excellent all-around athlete, lettering in football, basketball, and track in high school. Minute 30 and counting at round three. He's got a perfect body for a track star. I'll tell you that. For a, a, a dash. 60 yard, 3 yard dash. Looks like a sprinter. Yeah. McCarthy looking to come back. So far, the fight dominated by the younger of the two, Bobby Joe Young in the red trunks with the white trip. Minute remaining in the third round. Bobby picks those punches off beautifully on the defense. The uppercut just going to the body by McCarthy. Blocked well by Young. You can really hear McCarthy breathing heavily. Yeah, McCarthy's in for a tough night. There's no doubt about that. Young looking very alert. Under 30 seconds left in the round. It's very dangerous to lead Steve with a right hand, but Bobby, Bobby, well. He looks like he's just cocking that right hand, just waiting to let it go. 10 seconds. Up in the corner, Larry Patterson. Trying to sack up Babs McCarthy, getting ready for round four. Larry has it, brings them together to the center of the ring, and here we go. I see now that uh, McCarthy is is a southpaw. not connecting again changes the style he's a switch hitter now he's back throwing a uh, orthodox style left jab sometimes fighters will do that uh, believing that an orthodox fighter believes sometimes they hit harder with the left or they change the style and leave with the right the left of the face of McCarthy made contact by Bobby Joe Young direct hit to the nose by Young I don't believe anything McCarthy will do really will help. Because he's in with a superior boxer and a superior puncher there. Young, five years younger than McCarthy. McCarthy has no dip at all in his jab. And he's vulnerable for a left hook and he's vulnerable for the right hand. Of course, Bobby's very, very quick. Combination missing by McCarthy. Young just ducking underneath it. Minute 30 to go in round four from uh, Atlantic City. Oh, the right hand again, and it did affect him. Bobby Joe He's hurt. He's hurt. If Young follows up with another right hand or a left hook, I'm sure that he'll get down. McCarthy looking very weary now. Bobby Joe Young landing with that right. down McCarthy in the second round. A minute remaining in round four. McCarthy doesn't look right to me right now. His eyes don't seem to be in focus and he's not defending himself too well. Looks very vulnerable right now at this point. Yeah, he's being hit easily. Young just measuring him out. Hoping for the kill. I have a feeling that really Young can do it, put the heat on at any time. I kind of think he may want to have a little workout. Under 30 seconds in round four. But all Bobby Joe Young to this point. Yeah, Bobby seems to soften his blows a little bit now. Round 
down, winding down. Bobby Joe looks as fresh as a daisy coming out for the next round. Bobby Joe Young in the red trunks controlling this fight. Tremendous amateur career, 112 and 8 with 75 knockouts. Turned pro just 15 months ago. After tonight, he is tentatively scheduled to fight Kevin Morgan, the U.S. welterweight champ. And his people feel that if he wins or knocks out McCarthy, who has never been KO'd, he should be in the top ten among welterweights. Right there, right there. All right, come on out. Larry Hazard, the referee. Round five. Yeah, just doesn't seem to me to have that zip purposely. McCarthy Talk missing with the left. Talking about Bobby now, it doesn't seem to be putting all his power into those punches. It's scheduled for ten rounds. There it is again. Now he really hurt him. He really hurt him with that right hand. Ready to go down, and there he does. Two, three. McCarthy looking one. over to his corner. McCarthy and waves no. That's right. McCarthy looked at his corner and shook his head like, you know, I think I've had enough. But he continues. Well. He is gone to the canvas. Just seems he's going to continue for long. Well, we have to uh, we have to look closely now at Babs McCarthy because he looks a little dazed. And there he goes again. He seems defenseless. I have a feeling that he wants to stop. And Larry has it to the right thing, an extra shot stopping this fight. Well, scoring with the left, and it's all over. Bobby Joe Young. The And he went flying right between the legs. Yeah, that was more of a push type of a knockdown. Uh, you can see him cocking. You can cocking his beautiful left hook. A doubled up on the left hook. And a great combination. He's a great finisher, and Larry has it stopped it at the right time. You can see McCarthy rebelling a little bit, but sometimes...